In this video, we are going to talk about if statements in PHP. Now, if statements are all about outcomes, and specifically if you want multiple outcomes. If you don't want multiple outcomes and you just want a single outcome, then you really don't need to use an if statement. So if you want multiple scenarios, you want to use an if statement. Now, if you were walking down a path and you came to another path, do you stay on the same path or do you take another path? An if statement can decide that for you. And that's the basic premise behind all if statements, regardless of what language you are using them in. Furthermore, if statements are either true or false. So you could create a set of code that if you stay on the main path, that's the true condition. If you take the other path, then that is the false condition. Now, every if statement has four basic parts. There is the if keyword, and that's what we have to put right here. The second part is the test condition, and that is always in parenthesis. So that is what we are testing to see if something is true or false. And then if it is true, we will do the third part, which is execute the block of code between our curly braces right here. If it is false, then nothing gets executed and it just exits from the if statement. Now in the next video, we will use the else statement to create another block of code for a false scenario. But in this case, nothing will happen. So those are the four basic parts to an if statement. And it's almost universally the same no matter what language you are using. So first things first, let's go ahead and create a variable and we'll just call that num for now. And let's go ahead and give that a value of six. And then of course we come down here and of course we need the if keyword first, we already have that. And now we need to put some stuff in our test condition. And of course that goes right between these parentheses. And you can put a lot of different things in here. So you can put functions in here. You can even put comparison operators. And even though we haven't talked about comparison operators, we're gonna introduce a few in this video. And a comparison operator does just that. It compares against something. So they almost go hand in hand with test conditions in your if statement. You're gonna use a lot of comparison operators within these parentheses. So the first thing let's do, let's go ahead and put our, specify our variable in this test condition. And we're gonna go ahead and use the greater than sign, and that is a comparison operator. And we're gonna specify four here. So is this true or not? Well, yes, this is true because the value that we gave here, six is greater than four. So whatever code we put inside of our curly braces will be executed. And let's go ahead and just echo out something very simple here. Let's go ahead and we'll just echo out uh, a string and we'll just echo out to say something very simple and we'll just say the condition is true. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and click on our lesson.php and we got a parse error on line seven. What did I, well, we don't need the equal sign here. So let's go ahead and resave this. Let's click on this again. And there you can see we got the condition is true. I'm glad we got that parse error. PHP will usually return the line that it found the error on. So you can go ahead and we went right to seven and I realized we didn't need to assign this value. We're just echoing out something. We don't need to assign a value to this. But in any event, you can see that this tested out true. So that's what we wanted. Now let's go ahead and set this to 14 and now this is going to turn out to be false. So now we should just get a blank page here because nothing's gonna happen. So let's go ahead and refresh our page and that's exactly what I expected. This is now false because we know that six isn't greater than 14 in this world and that's why we got the blank page. Now let's put an equal sign here and what this will say is, is our variable greater than or equals to seven? And that still should be false, right? Because it's not greater than and it's not equal to seven. So let's go ahead and see if we still have a blank page and we do. But now let's go ahead and set this to six. Now this should be true because our variable is at least equal to six. It's not greater than, but it will actually turn out to be equal. So let's go ahead and hit this and we get the condition is true. So that is how an if statement works at the very basic level. Now in the next video, we will talk about the else statement and that will give us the ability to execute another block of code for our false condition. 